Hey, how you going? Um, it's Shannon again. I just wanted to do a quick video because I haven't done much um, about the boat and stuff like that. Uh, and I'll explain a little bit why. It's going to be really quick, just a straight upload uh, with no editing. And I'm going to try and do a few videos like that in between the more edited ones because um, when I watch videos, yeah, sometimes, you know, Sometimes it's good to have all that stuff. Sometimes you just want a little update and maybe a little piece of information. And it's a lot easier for me because I've got quite a lot of other things going on. But I want to kind of make a commitment to making videos. Um, so yeah, basically I've decided out of the boat yard I'm building a um, basically a tiny house because I didn't have anywhere uh, to store there. And also so then I can um, rent the place out that I've been living at and then go full time out there, which I think just waking up near the boat and waking up in that environment just um, is more conducive to getting more done <laughs> in a quicker time. And also maybe going, yeah, better with the videos and all that stuff. So it was all on track with that, but considering there's no power out there, um, one of the first things was to sort power and I decided to go down the kind of battery and inverter route since I already had quite a big uh, battery, big enough to just charge tools and things like that. And most of my tools are battery tools, so that works out well. And so one of the big things I had to splash out for was an inverter. Um, and this was the inverter I got, so PowerTech, PowerTech 2000 watt inverter. Um, 2000 watts is pretty much enough to do anything I need to do and <clears throat> most of it's only kind of short bursts like maybe a cut on a saw or something like that so yeah now the reason I got this actually a few weeks ago but in my haste to set it up I was all kind of I got it all working it was all fine and then I actually went to kind of reverse, do a funny thing where I plugged the inverter into my car and then a battery charger into the inverter to then charge the battery that I had on site rather than moving it around or yeah because I didn't have a 12 volt charger and in my haste to do that I reversed the polarity and I did black black on red and red on black which is um, yeah completely a silly thing to do some things it's fine but this thing I just heard big pop and um it was all over it wouldn't work again so after lots of research and a lot of people telling me that it was completely dead uh, a lot of the stuff on the internet just said not nah, throw it out it's, it's fucked um, it's no good sorry about the swearing <laughs> um, they, they said yeah get a new one it's no good um, and I couldn't do that because it was 550 bucks and that was just not going to fly so I opened it up and found that it had, between the positive, basically straight in from the positive, it had a big breaker there that was kind of uh, six 40 amp blade fuses, all on the same circuit. And it was really tricky to get to, but ended up prying them out and realized they'd just all completely blown. So I had a look around the rest of the circuit board, couldn't really see anything else that it was obviously fried. And, um, so yeah, I was pretty confident that I could just put, refuse that circuit and she would hopefully work again. So what I did, and excuse the, the sloppiness of this, but um, yeah, I haven't got the best soldering iron stuff in the world. So basically this is a six-way fuse block that I got from JCAR um, with six 40 amp fuses. And this, these are bridged here and here and there. So that's, they're all, it's just one circuit, but there's six fuses on it. Now the reason I had to do this is because all the fuses were soldered in and to get to them, I would have had to take the entire thing apart, like all the heat shielding, everything just to get to it. And that was not, I didn't want to do that. And it would have probably wrecked other stuff because the things was all not soldered in which is probably why there's no way, it even said in big writing on the, in the warranty, will not cover 
reverse polarity and all this stuff. So I think that's why they even do it. So it's just an obvious, oh, this is what's happened. No way we're going to fix it and charge it, you know, whatever. So anyway, I ended up just using, I used double because it was really hard to work out the amount of amperage I'd actually need to run the power from from down there to just here, just to this thing. And I, yes, yeah, so I went probably overboard, but it um, made more sense. So even though these are black and red, it's just that's just one down to one side. And this other side is just to the other side and it just bridges it, comes up here and goes through all these fuses and then goes back in. Um, so if I ever do it again, these fuses will blow and then I can just change them again and uh, yeah. And I'll probably fasten that down at some point on the top or when I get this mounted securely, it'll do that. But apart from that, um, I've got some pretty cool progress out of the boat that basically nothing on the boat yet, but we're building this tiny house, which might be interesting. You know, it's still a building project. My thinking was I needed to do it anyway. I've done a few similar things in the past and I just wanted somewhere out there and to get in that kind of building mode. It was a good, yeah, it was a good little project to just get the flow working test all the, yeah, just get working out on the site. So, I might, may or may not splice in some photos into this, um, but otherwise, probably what I'll end up doing is making an Instagram page for the boat and stuff like that, which will probably be, I don't know whether to do it under my name or do it under the boat name, but I'll figure all that out. I might just do it under mine because, yeah, it's all going to be, you know, a much of a muchness. And they'll probably put some photos up there and update because photos are a little bit easier than videos and I don't know, it just keeps people interested. So yeah, thank you for being patient and watching or if you've subscribed, sorry that there hasn't been more but there will be more coming out. And uh, yeah, oh and the inverter went really well, it just works awesomely. Um, it's not a crazy expensive one from... A lot of people that I kind of really trust uh, said that basically unless you're running really complicated stuff, um, a modified sine wave is fine. This probably isn't going to be the inverter that I end up using on the boat itself when it's in the water because, yeah, I might want a, a better grade one, more of a marine grade. But this will get me um, pretty far, I'm hoping. And, yeah. It's just a nice way to do things. And also I've been probably gonna, uh, with the tiny house, hook up a solar setup because I've just been noticing that uh, I can get solar panels for like nothing. Um, a lot of people must be, they're like upgrading their solar packages over here in, in WA. So there's a lot of them for pretty cheap. And yeah, I'm thinking of putting that on the roof and then having a solar. And also the other thing we get out there is a lot of wind. So it was why I wasn't worried about the known power in the beginning because, um, you know, that's what I'm striving towards in the boat is to have it self-sufficient with power. And um, so I thought we may as well cross that um, on land, get that all figured out on land first, and then it should, um, by the time the boat's on the water, should be more proficient with that, with those kind of technologies and yeah, hopefully not reverse <laughs> the polarity on any other stuff and blow any, no more pops, no more popping stuff up. Anyway, thank you for uh, thing, like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you on the next one.